Hey guys, Ardaf here, and today I'm the Space Engineers to give a quick guide on setting up Ardaf's Fleet Command Mark 2. Ardaf's Fleet Command 2 is designed to be a lot easier to install and use, using the same prefab module setup as a lot of my previous codes. First things first, you need to set up the central command module. This is the main hub of Fleet Command, and synchronizes and times the entire fleet. Cut off the module and paste it onto a ship of your choosing, with the antennae facing forward. And then, you can go into the terminal of the ship, and then turn the user interface and the central command programmable blocks on. These are on the module and run the entire fleet. In the bottom right you should see a small runtime indicator, to indicate that the code's working. You can then add the remote control block that's in the module to the toolbar called RCRC. By controlling this it allows you to interface with the LCD. Move the mouse to move the cursor, and then use Q and E as left and right click. To set up a drone for the fleet command is actually quite easy. First, remove any ejectors or connectors that you don't want the code to use, as the code will automatically use these for docking and automatically detect which one it thinks is best, which isn't exactly always the one you want. Ensure that every ship has a turret and a camera and a connector. These are what the code uses to navigate its surroundings. Now the ship is prepped for fleet command, you can copy and paste the module onto the ship. The module that I'm be pasting on here is the interceptor module, designed for small ships and small fighter craft. And that's it! The code is completely set up after you've pasted it on. To check that it's working correctly, go into the programmable block, and again you should see the small runtime indicator in the bottom right. If you've correctly set the drone up, it should now show on the LCD menu. You can select it using Q, and tell it to go somewhere, attack a target, or do something using E, or right click. All motions of the drones should show up on the LCD in real time, allowing you to see exactly where the drones are, and what they are doing. To set up a large grid ship, such as a frigate, a carrier, or a cruiser, the process is exactly the same. They will need a turret, a connector, and camera. Ideally, the more cameras the better, as the more cameras you have, the better it can detect targets and collision detect. After that's done, you can simply copy the module as you would for the small grid ship, and then paste it onto the respective ship. And that's it set up. Again, in exactly the same way, after it's set up, it should show immediately on the LCD menu. And you can select it, and command it to go wherever you want. And these changes should show on the LCD menu as they happen. Lastly, setting up carriers and dock points. Before you try and initialize any of the AIs, you actually need to set up the dock point route first. To do this, you need to put a connector, and then trace LCDs out of the ship like this. These LCD trails are what the ship will follow when it comes in and out of the ship. Using this, you can create really advanced and detailed docking and undocking networks. After that, you can simply paste on the module as you would for any other class of AI, and it should show on the LCD menu. To get any ship to dock, you firstly need to move them to an ideal position. Carriers should be stationary and interceptors ideally positioned towards the end of where their docking routes go. Once the drones are in location, you can then begin to start docking them. To do that, select the drone or group of drones that you want to dock on a carrier, and then right click on the carrier. Once the drones receive the dock command, they will begin to precisely maneuver towards the end of their docking route, align with their docking route, and then start to thrust gently inside the hangar. The drones will follow the LCDs from outside to in, and then when they are at the final point, they will turn around, maneuver above the connector, and then slowly drift downwards to connect to them. It's worth noting that you can have docking points and docking routes on any style of ship larger than an interceptor, so you can have them on frigates, cruisers, whatever you want. To undock a ship, select the ship and press the button in the bottom right. The blue number above this shows how many ships are currently docked. After the drone it receives the undock command, it will lift itself off the connector and start to maneuver gently outside of the ship, along the docking route that you have set. Once it clears the ship, it will start to accelerate a bit more, and will be able to be commanded and will once again appear on the LCD menu. Lastly, before I go, the code supports complete copy and pasting of the drones themselves after they've been set up, so you can keep blueprints of a drone that's completely set up with the code 
copy and paste it and they will all automatically be added to the fleet on pasting. And then the drones will be ready to be commanded as you please. Also included is the all follow me command which is button 1 on the toolbar already set up in the remote control block in the module. Pressing this will command all drones in the fleet, both docked and undocked, to form up on the central command ship. So that's just about it for now folks. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and also thank everyone for being so patient when waiting for this. It's been about a year and a half in the works now, so I'm really excited to get it out there and actually see what people can make with it. Remember to check out the description below for a workshop link, and don't forget to leave feedback in the comments section. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.